Hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Got a bag of broccoli, got some Velveeta cheese, got some more ingredients that we're going to put on the counter here. Let's whip up the most delicious broccoli and cheese soup you ever ate. Oh, it's so good. Easy to make, too. Come on over here, let's get started. Well, to start out with, we're going to put in three tablespoons of butter. And I like the little butter sticks. For you new cooks out there, or you bachelors, it shows one tablespoon every little slot. So I just go over three lines and chop her off there, and I got three tablespoons of butter. Makes it pretty easy for us country cooks. Then we're going to put in three tablespoons of real fine diced sweet onion, which is about a third of a medium size onion. We're going to soften this up a little bit. In fact, we want to kind of get a little bit of color on here. So let me turn off the camera and simmer this for a while, and I'll be right back with you. Our onions are nice and soft. Now we're going to put in three tablespoons of flour in here. I notice that this recipe also incorporates that roux factor. You know, three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, that kind of thing. So we're going to get this in here, and we're going to stir this on medium heat. It's been on medium since we first started, and we're going to stir this on medium heat for about two minutes to really, really make sure that that flour is cooked in there and doesn't leave a flour taste to our recipe. And again, I'll see you in just a second. Now our flour is cooked very well, and we're going to add one cup of milk. I use whole milk. You can use whatever you want, 2% or whatever, but I think whole milk will make it nice and rich. And we're also going to add 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth. Now we're going to simmer this for a good two to three minutes to get this all incorporated. And again, I hate to run off, but I know you don't want to sit there and watch a pot start to simmer, so we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. At this point, the milk and broth is getting real nice and hot, and the recipe actually calls that you add the cheese and the broccoli in together at this point, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the cheese in first and kind of get it melted before I put the broccoli in. And we want eight ounces of Velveeta cheese, and inside of here is also marked every four ounces. So you just go over two lines and chop her off, and they, they suggest that you cube it up I would assume that's just to help it melt better. We're going to get eight ounces of cubed up Velveeta cheese in here. And I'm going to melt this a little bit before I put in the broccoli. We're just going to stir that nice and constant. And I'm really excited about this recipe because we got a game coming up in there in a little bit. Alabama's playing today. And I just want a nice warm bowl of cheese, or actually broccoli and cheese soup. So let's get this melted in here, and I'll be right back in just a little bit because this is going to take a minute to melt all this cheese. You know that cup of milk and 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth, I'd have thought more cheese, but 8 ounces is just perfect for this recipe. It's nice and golden and got a nice color and nice and rich, and it's time for our broccoli. But before we put the broccoli in, it doesn't mention anything about salt and pepper to taste in the recipe. I'm not going to put any salt in because that cheese has got plenty of salt in it, but I am going to hit it with a little lick of pepper on top because you know me and pepper. But I'm going to put it in here first before I add the broccoli in. Now you want to get yourself a 10 ounce bag of broccoli, frozen broccoli from the store, thaw it out and then chop it into little teeny pieces. And here's one tip that I would suggest because this is me. I bought the broccoli florets because if you get the chopped broccoli, they give you mostly stems. It's just, it's a bad product. This has got real nice stuff. In fact, let me show it to you. All thawed out, chopped up real nice. Let's put that in there. One 10 ounce bag. And I use the florets because it just looks so much like you're getting your money's worth as opposed to those oh, broccoli pieces. They look pretty lame in the store to me. Boy, that looks just wonderful. We're going to get this heated up a little bit. 
and then we're going to bowl it up and serve it, and we'll be just right back in a minute if it, if well, maybe two minutes. We'll see what happens. Wow, this just looks and smells delicious. It's time to bowl this up here. Let me get a little ladle over here and see if we can't put some in a bowl. Got a big spoon for me and a little spoon for Sheila because she likes them little spoons. I have to hang on to hers, make sure it don't go swimming in this broccoli cheese soup. Time to turn this off too. It's starting to bubble a little bit. Just want it nice and hot. Well, what do you think? Does that look delicious, Sheila, or what? It's awesome. All right. You know, Sheila and I got to nibbling while the camera is off, and there almost isn't enough left in these bowls. To do the closing. I'm sorry about that, but this stuff is just absolutely delicious. Get you some broccoli, get those other ingredients, go to the store and pick up a box of Velveeta cheese. And you know what? I'd love to stand here and say that this recipe was from my great great grandma, or I got it from somebody on the road at a restaurant, it was delicious. You know where I got it? It's on the side of the Velveeta box right here. Now it's boring to go in the store and just look at that picture and read that stuff, so we wanted to cook it up for you so you could see exactly how to make it. And I made it exactly the way it says on the side of the box. So get you some Velveeta, try it. I know you're going to love this recipe. We really hope you subscribe to our channel. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a second. That's where you put your pointer and click on it. It'll pop up. You can click subscribe. And I always thought that when you subscribe to someone's channel, they notified you every single time they came out with a recipe. That's not true. But next to that little check mark and subscribe, when you subscribe, is a little bell. If you click on that bell, it'll give you a drop-down box, and if you'll highlight that box, put a check in it, and hit save, then it'll notify you for every single one of them. You can always uncheck it later in case we get to cooking too much and bugging you, but that's how you get every single recipe. We're going to give you another recipe over here that we really hope you enjoy, and is this the best Velveeta broccoli and cheese soup you ever ate? Boy, if it ain't, it ought to be. And I got the recipe from Kroger's off the side of the box. Sheila, did you have a good time? I did. You want the rest of this? Yes. Me too. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now.